Mark coming to you this evening on the Garage Guy channel. It is February 2nd, 2019. And with that being said, I want to send out a birthday wish to my niece Josie, who's up on the Maryland coast, Pocomoke City. Sweetie, I hope you have a really special day. And all these cars going by here. Yeah, 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 I'm down here making a video. Anyhow, uh, this video, Taurus G2C, chamber 9mm, this one has a stainless slide on it. There's already a ton of videos here online about this model pistol. You might say I'm a little late for the party, but guess what? Here comes another video about it. Hmm. Let's check this out. All right, first rounds be fired out of this G2C will be the Winchester White Box Ammo. 115 grain target rounds, ball head on them. Let's do this. All right, my friends, first shots, Taurus G2C. Try the second magazine. Slide stays open after the last round. The trigger safety right here, if uh, you don't hit it just right, you know, it's pretty stiff. But uh, I'm sure after I get a few hundred rounds down the pipe, that leaves up. Brand new gun's going to be very tight. Well, my friends, what do you say we get a uh, close-up of this uh, being fired so you can get a sense of recoil and muzzle flip, which there really isn't a whole lot of. That's 10, 11, 12, yep, 12. All right, my friends, we're staring at my old scrap steel targets. Uh, closest one, I guess about uh, 12 yards away. See if I can hit anything from a distance with this. She's running good so far. Hit a few, missed a few, but I find I have to aim slightly higher with this right here from this distance. That's okay, it's what you get used to, I guess. That's why you practice, practice, practice. <laughs> well, you say we uh, head back up to the house. 
All right, my friends, we're back up here at Taos. It's uh, a couple hours later after I finished the shooting, and uh, I just want to say that I do know that there's a ton of videos about this model Taurus pistol here already on YouTube. So if you're watching my video about this gun, then I know you've already seen a lot of other videos about this model, so I'm not going to go into... Uh, weights and measurements and all that kind of thing like that uh, but there are some things I do want to point out on it uh, first of all the G2C does not have the external lock on it it would usually be right there uh, it seems to have a little bit better trigger than the G2111 or the Millennium Pros now when I was shooting this y'all see the trigger safety right there that thing was stiff and if you didn't catch it just right, it wouldn't allow you to pull the trigger. But I got used to it. It's working a little bit better now. After I turned the camera off, I put about uh, 100 more rounds through it. Worked without any problem. And the trigger is getting a little bit better. Of course, right here you have your slide uh, lever catch handle right here. And your safety lever. Up for safe. Down for fire does come with two 12-round magazines. They are made in-house by Taurus down in Brazil. Let's see. It says PT-111 Pro Cal 9mm made in Brazil. Okay. Good little magazines. I've never had any problems with any of these magazines. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, holster I'll be using. We've already seen this holster here on my channel. This leather inside the waistband uh, holster. I called it ceviche, but a viewer here a few weeks back left a uh, comment on the uh, video I did about this same brand holster, but it was for an M&P Shield 9mm. His name is... Uh, uh, Caserilli, and he left comments saying it's not pronounced ceviche, that actually it's a Turkish word, and the best pronunciation in English he could give to me was Jabagi, Jabagi, so it wasn't ceviche or sebeki, it's a Gabagi, Gabagi, hell, I still can't pronounce it, but anyway, this holster fits really well what I like about it here the back side comes up and covers the entire slide so uh, the gun really isn't rubbing on your side now as far as the grip though it is pretty aggressive the texturing on here is and it is liable to rub you if you're not wearing a t-shirt so since town grips doesn't make any grips for this here they make them for the Millennium Pro models the old ones but uh, not the G2's or the uh, G2C's that I know of so I got on eBay and got these traction rubberized grips fits Tars G2C and Millennium G2 they just go on opposite of what traction grips do and we want to put these on and when I turn the camera back on you'll see the finished result. Alright, as you can see right here, I do have the traction rubberized grips on here. They fit very well. Uh, I've yet to take the blow dryer to it to uh, get it hot and make it a lot more stickier on here. But uh, it wraps around from the front. As you can see here, it's a piece right here on this back serration. And uh, one little piece right here that goes under the bottom of the trigger guard, which Makes it pretty comfortable. I really like these grips here. Uh, 11 bucks and some change off eBay. But uh, anyhow, looking right here, this pistol does also have the rail for a light or laser. Um, I'll probably, well, I got a couple of lights. Uh, one of them's bound to fit. And I chose the model with a stainless slide. Because since I do use a leather holster for concealed carry, the 
G2 G2C models with the uh, blued finish. It's going to come off after just a little while in this. Right there with the leather holster. The blue finishes on these uh, Taurus models really don't last a long time. Or they don't last near as long as your Smith & Wessons or Glock or what have you. So I went ahead and decided to stick with the matted stainless finish on here. Three dot system right here. Lines up pretty good. I believe the barrel is 3.2 inches. We uh, do a little size comparison thingy here right quick. Move this out of the way. We have the Glock 48. Right there this is. Of course the Glock 48 uh, has the uh, Glock 19 length barrel on it. And we do a silhouette of it here. Remove, remove put in a magazine. Hold the wrong gun. <laughs> okay. That 19 down like it or 48 rather put the uh, G2C on top as you can see the front of the magazine down here is just still a tad shorter but this is a double stack and the length of the slide right there you see it I'm going to be doing a comparison video with these two uh, much more in depth detail there's already a lot of videos out there comparing the 48 to the 43, 43X, 19 even, but none yet comparing it to the G2C, which both are very, uh, really good choices for concealed carry. Well, listen, I've went on long enough. Y'all get the gist of this video. Taurus G2C, 9mm not a compact and I don't really consider it a subcompact either but it is small and in my opinion this model pistol has the best size to capacity ratio 12 plus 1 get another Taurus here right here my friends in my opinion are the best two firearms Taurus makes we're looking at my M865 six shot revolver chamber 38 special I did get the chance to shoot the uh, Model 605, and I truly believe the 856 has a lot better trigger and hammer action than the uh, 605. And right here, in my opinion, the best semi-auto handgun Taurus makes the G2C right there. All right, my friends, I'm going to get on off here. This is Mark coming to you on a Garage Guy 879 channel. Y'all have a good evening.